Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. I'm a hashtag gamer Chad, just like you. And I'm also into sports. Just football, actually. So naturally, I love me some sports vigi games, right? There's only one problem. Sports games suck dookie through a crazy straw. Year after year, we get these same exact games spoon-fed to us. It's been like this for years now, but it wasn't always this bad. Some of you may remember the glory years of sports games all the way back in the Mesopotamian era. Back when companies actually had to try to make a good game, and before the rise of microtransactions. Games like Madden 05 come to mind. I loved that game when I was a zygote. It was the debut of the hit stick. It had a deep, engaging franchise mode. If you were into football, it was great. Nowadays, though, Madden is one of the most pathetic gaming franchises of all time. Pretty much like every sports franchise on the market nowadays. It seems like no matter what sport you're into, it's been butchered when it comes to video games. Football? Every year is a copy-paste of last year's game with little to no improvements. It's a glitchy mess, its franchise mode is garbage, and the gameplay just seems to get worse. It's also made by EA. Basketball? It's a slot machine microtransaction filled mess. Every year is a copy paste of the last game with little to no improvements, and the gameplay just seems to get worse. How about soccer? It's a glitchy, terrible mess, a copy paste of last year's game with little to no improvements. It's a microtransaction filled turd. The developers can't spell basic words, and said incompetent developers are yay. I think you get the point. Everywhere you look, if you play sports games, you'd be better off waterboarding yourself with prune juice while watching your team lose on TV. It would be as fun as playing this garbage. In order to emphasize just how terrible these games are nowadays, we'll look at two sports games from this year. Madden 20 and FIFA 20. Both made by electronic farts. And we're going to see just how bad they are and why they remain this way year after year. We'll start with my favorite sport. Football. No, American football. Right off the bat, I'm going to show you a few clips and I want you to tell me which Madden they're from. Yes, physically speak to your screen. I will hear you. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Running it with the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year a season ago, Saquon Barkley. All right, could you tell which Madden was which? No, of course you couldn't, unless you're a Madden connoisseur, which if you are, you're gross. Then you had no idea which one it was. Well, I'll tell you. That was Madden 17, 19, and 20. Yeah, I skipped one. They're all the same. AIDS! The commentary is the same, the graphics are mostly the same, but the gameplay, oh, that just gets worse! Madden 18 saw the introduction of the new, revolutionary, dumb orangutan AI. He just freaking whiffed. How does that, how do you not try to wrap up the runner? Come on! That guy at least tries. The spin I see. And what the f Madden 19 had the actual worst player running animations and control I've seen. I am convinced I could control a dolphin using chopsticks and a snuggie easier than I could control those mannequin football cretins in Madden 19. And Madden 20 has this! Jackson basically goes down but isn't down by contact. The game is just a cluster of animations. All of a sudden it allows him to kind of float up out of the pile here and then he's going to take off and run down essentially untouched for a touchdown. So I can imagine as a gamer this would be frustrating. I can imagine there's certain gamers out there who would say, listen, I want my money back. I, I think I need to bleach my eyeballs out after seeing that. Is this a football game or an orgy simulator? Speaking of issues they've had for years now, franchise mode has always been a steaming pile of dookie. It's shallow, it's uninteresting, and it's remained untouched and unimproved for years. What is the difference between these two interfaces here? Yeah, they have different color schemes, and in Madden 20 you can see the coach walking around in the background, but they are the exact same. The Madden series is honestly getting more and more pathetic at this point. A new Madden is merely an excuse to get people to cough up another $60 and to get mutt players to have to purchase their player packs all over again. Next up, we have the disastrous FIFA 20. 
So I'm not a FIFA gamer. I would rather be roundhoused in the taint by Mickey Mouse than even think about playing that garbage. Mainly because I'm not into soccer. That and it's dookie butter. But a ton of people are into soccer, and a ton of people get ripped off every year with FIFA. So again, it's EA. The only reason they make another FIFA game is to update the roster, get you to pay $60 again, and pay for the same players all over again with microtransactions. But hey, the FIFA YouTubers who make the same pack opening videos every year are fine with that, so who am I to judge? FIFA 20 is FIFA 19, period. It's the same game. Especially if you purchase the Switch version, EA actually called it FIFA 20 Legacy Edition and came out and said, Yeah, so it's the exact same as FIFA 19, we changed literally nothing. It's full price by the way, enjoy. FIFA 20 on console isn't much better. It's just like Madden. They don't improve career mode, they don't touch anything players actually want improved. They add a few useless things, then release the game so you can purchase their player packs again. Many people have highlighted that the career mode in FIFA 20 is a broken mess with more bugs and issues than you can shake a wombat at. You got typos in the interviews, you got interviewers asking questions that don't make sense. You could be losing every game in the season and they say, Things seem to be going well for you so far. Oh, and you're not going to believe this, spoiler alert, FIFA 20 is broken AF. I know, I basically just spoiled Endgame for you, but yeah, EA loves just releasing low-effort garbage. It's a badge of honor at this point. Oh, oh, and even better, EA saw what Bethesda did doxing players who tried to get the actual canvas bag they paid $200 for. EA thought, oh yeah, Bethesda? Trying to take our crown of being the poopiest, most incompetent game company? Nah, not happening. So they went and doxed about 1,600 people who registered for the crappy Global Series tournaments. Players' emails, countries, console, and account names were doxed. Take that, Bethesda. We here at EA can dox our players, too. It's honestly like a competition to see who can be scummier and more incompetent. Anyways, with games like Madden and FIFA, it's clear that there is zero heart and soul put into them. Zero effort. There is no care. All it is is taking the same game they just released, then taking a year to add new players and update the fuggin' grass textures. Maybe throw in a few features that they took out that the game had years ago. The fans won't notice. They'll buy the game no matter what. We don't have to try. And that, ladies and ladies, wink, brings us to the worst thing about sports games. You. Okay, maybe not you specifically, but the people who purchase these games every single year. Without fail. Year after year, sports fans buy Madden, FIFA, 2K Basketball, Tony Tiger's Putt-Putt Adventure. No matter how bad the game is, no matter how much they complain, they always come back. It's like EA is the abusive husband and they're the wife that just can't stay away. Get quickscoped, sports gamers. With Madden, for example, every year it's the same vicious cycle. People get that year's game, realize it's shallow garbage that is the exact same as last year, they realize it's even worse than last year gameplay-wise. Then the next Madden is announced. Big surprise. They sit there, they make wish lists for features that they know aren't going to be added because they aren't marketable. They come up with improvements that EA could make over last year. That they won't. They get hyped over whatever tiny, insignificant, useless feature EA decided to bring back to the series from Madden from the PS2 era, which is marketable by the way. Oh look! Player abilities in Madden 20! Those weren't in Madden 08 and removed for no reason or anything. Totally not. Oh, they put the Pro Bowl back into Madden 20. Oh, I, that, the old games didn't have that at all. Why did they ever take it out? Then, they all buy the game anyway. It's llama sweat juice levels of terrible. The cycle repeats. Forever. It has been like this for years. FIFA, I imagine it's the exact same thing. Don't think I'm talking down to you if you buy Madden every year or every once in a while. The last time I bought a Madden game was Madden 17. 18 looked like dog feces, so I said no to that. Madden 19, I thought... Hey, they improved some things, or so I thought. The YouTube reviews say it's better, so why not? I was an idiot. Madden 19 was easily the worst Madden in years. Gameplay-wise, it was virtual waterboarding, mostly because of the terrible animations and player control I mentioned earlier, 
and the glitches. Madden 20, I said, nope, and I've stuck with Madden 17 since when I'm in the mood for football shiznit. At the end of the day, the biggest problem with sports games is the fans. The people who keep buying EA's garbage year in and year out. You are giving them zero incentive to change. They don't care about their complaints. They don't care about the fans' wishes or desires. They don't care about football or other football. They only care about one thing. Money. Take their money away by boycotting the series and things will change real quick. But I'll become a supermodel for Vogue before that happens, so I guess we're stuck with terrible sports games. Rip in peace in peace. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this booty poppin' video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant about sports games being dookie butter. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, follow me on the Twitters, and, I don't know, maybe go on a dinner date with me. I don't know, maybe, maybe we could do that. It could happen. A huge thank you to my wonderful channel members and Patreon sponsors. You are all amazing, and you make it so I can do this for you all. I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you.